Hey everyone, I'm Cody with UpToCode, and today I got Mike with me. I say hi to the folks. Hello there, YouTubers. <laughs> <laughs> so actually, Mike is behind most of the great ICF work that we've done in the past, especially that one crazy one that we did out in Bowdoin, which was yeah, pretty, pretty complex. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so that one was awesome. And now, actually, in a couple days, Mike and I are gonna start this new Nadura One series. And we're doing a little cabin with a garage on the main floor, cabin above. And long story short, we wanted an exposed concrete on the inside of the garage just so that you could pull a boat in, you could pressure wash, you don't have to worry about drywall or anything. Mm -hmm. So, and it'd be a cool look as well. Um, so we're, this is the first time we're ever using this series. So we've been actually setting this up in our shop and just trying to figure out how we're gonna do the corners and everything. And we're gonna send out a lot of videos on the series. Nadura isn't sponsoring us. We're just doing this just for you guys at home. And so anyway, for this video, we're just going to show you just the components so that if you're ordering the system yourself, you know what to buy and what to purchase. Okay, so actually here, Mike, you can see, we'll show you, we'll get a little closer up near the end of the video, but you can actually tell that it's foam on one side. We're going to fill the center with concrete, and then we have the traditional plywood on the inside, which gets peeled off and that gives us our exposed look. So let's get into what we need to build the system. Um, I guess maybe grab me a foam block too, Mike. So that you get the, the sheets of plywood come from Nadura and they're 18 inches tall, 96 inches long, so eight feet. And then this is, so you order the plywood individually. You order the, the block individually. And then we might as well throw them the webs. So each block will have, will require 12 webs. So this, in this series, we're doing a four inch web that will slide down into this. And then this is called the multi-tie. You got that, Mike. Yeah. So the multi-tie that you could see was actually attached to the form ply. Now, you put the multi-ties on to the plywood separately and then you do those with a special jig. And the jig is, just makes it line these up with the plywood really easily. And we're using the two and a half inch screws from Nadura, not the two inch because they just bury a little deeper. We'll get into the more specs on how to do it later. So those you want to set up separately. And then what that looks like all said and done is that just attaches right here. So when you're doing this, this is two and five eighths. And then this is a four inch web. So we're, we want a six and five eighths wall. So if you want every, every increment, you would just order your snap tie or your web. You'd order four inch, six inch, eight inch, 10 inch, 12 inch. But this is always a standard two and five eighths. So when you're doing your system, you know that for a fact, you got two and five eighths of concrete and then just add your web into that. You got your one side of your ICF and your plywood as well. So let's just take a closer look at it and that's it for the video. Thanks Mike. I'm excited to roll out more videos on this, guys. I'm going to show you, like how to do the window box. We're doing some overhead doors. We're going to give you a couple ways to do the box, show you all the little tricks and tips that we've learned along the way. So there's going to be a lot of footage and videos on this just in the near future. So, but come and take a look just so you can see up close. It's not perfectly square, but here's the multi-link tie. These snap ties slide down and they actually lock. They have a positive lock on the top and the bottom so that when the concrete hits it, it doesn't slide them down and out of position and that they can't hydraulic them and push them up either. So they're, they're locked in there. You can get them out. You just got to press the little tabs, but it's, yeah, it's pretty simple. We still have placement for rebar and that's it. Pretty simple. But when I was ordering all the material, when I'd never actually seen the system before and I, they sent me a list of materials and prices and everything, I was like, well, what do I need? I had no idea how the system works. So this video should help you. You know what components are and then you can take and do a takeoff list and figure out what you need for to get the job done. So that's it for today. Thanks for tuning in.